all-star bluegrass celebration. Legends are enshrined at the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in Nashville. But some legends are bigger than the buildings that house their tributes. Bill Monroe is one of these legends. Very few artists are considered to be innovators of a type of music. But Bill Monroe invented bluegrass. He could hear the ancient tones, the music of our Scots-Irish ancestors who lived hard and died in the mountains of southern Appalachia. And he could also hear the blues that drifted up the Mississippi River through Bill Street and into America's heartland. And when the two came together in Bill Monroe's music, it was bluegrass. And it was something very unique and truly American. Before there was bluegrass, there was a string band featuring two brothers from rural Kentucky. Bill and Charlie Monroe toiled at success for almost 15 years, beginning in the 1920s. But real success did not come for Bill Monroe until he went his own way in the late 30s. Bill surrounded himself with new players, the Bluegrass Boys, to create a new sound. And when Lester Flatt and Earl Scruggs joined the band in the mid-40s, the sound began to take shape. As instrumental solos became more improvisational, and the tempo driven by Monroe's mandolin went into overdrive. Bluegrass evolved, as did Monroe's band. The players changed, but Bill Monroe remained at the center, influencing generations of bluegrass players for the next 50 years. His songwriting defined the sound and drove the performance of his band. And the lyrics told stories that moved all who listened. It was dawn and we were at night. The stars shined bright When they whispered from on high You loved to say goodbye Bill Monroe lived bluegrass until he passed away in 1996. Bill Monroe is gone, but bluegrass lives. It lives on in everyone he touched. And said goodbye. Please welcome my good buddy, Mr.